you? Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I get to speak to an Oscar winner. And that doesn't happen <laughs> do. every day. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise. So today we're talking about Stillwater. And uh, you have mentioned that this is a film about human nature and how morality can be corrupted over our past. Can you elaborate a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, look, I think it's something we all are confronted with, right? The choices we make in our lives, the mistakes we make in our past and, and how we have to live with them. I know I do. Um, and I think this movie explores that. Uh, maybe it also explores a sort of American perception of like, what's right? What do we know absolutely to be right? And, and what are the consequences of that, of our understanding of that? Um, I felt like, you know, right now in our country, like we're all a little uh, myopic and like, I know exactly how I feel about something. And there's always more dimension to any conversation. And I, I think this, this story pushes on that. It pushes on perception and it pushes on like our ability to kind of think beyond ourselves a little bit as we still see Bill Baker, this really unique kind of guy, this roughneck from Oklahoma who slowly opens up over the course of this movie and goes on this kind of incredible journey in, in Marseille. How did you know Matt was the one to play Bill? Because that must have been a strong pressure to pick the right person to portray him. Yeah, I don't know why, but we started talking about Matt early on. And like, I just think he's at a point in career where he's making really exciting choices as an actor. He's really willing to kind of transform. Uh, he's, he's, you know, willing to dig deep. Uh, he's an actor I've wanted to work with for a while. And, you know, I just sent in the script. I was really like, hey, I'm thinking about you for this. I'm curious to hear your reaction. And he was in pretty quickly. It didn't take a lot of convincing. He just connected with something about the story. Maybe it's being a father himself, being a dad, having a daughter. But, but I think really what it was, he saw, he saw an opportunity to um, take on a character that was really going to push him out of his comfort zone and, and you know, take on some new challenges. And um, it was a really exciting just to be a part of that and watch him, watch him do what he does. Did it facilitate when it came to directing just to finalize as a writer to make any last minute changes? Yeah, there's always last minute changes. You know, I remember there was a part, I have a friend who uh, lives in Tulsa, Oklahoma, a guy named Sterling Harjo. He's a filmmaker himself, writer and filmmaker. And I called him at one point, I was like, all right, let's go through every line of Matt's dialogue. And you tell me when it doesn't sound Oklahoman. <laughs> and still, Sterling said something really funny to me. He said, you know what? Just think of it like this. Think of it like we're a little bit lazy and we don't like to say words we don't have to say. So <laughs> whenever you can drop a preposition or a, a, a verb or this or that, just drop it. As long as the line still makes sense, he'll get it. And he was right. It was really funny. We went line by line through it and sort of found the, the final pass on the Oklahoman in it all. Well, thank you so much. For your time and it was a pleasure to speak to you and good luck and i'm sure people are going to enjoy stillwater you'll have them in suspense thank you very much i appreciate it